Hello Guardians, my name is Sergio Vengeance and uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break from Destiny for my sanity but um, I have a couple of uh, archived videos that uh, have been on my PlayStation that uh, I hope you guys would like to enjoy. So this is some Year One Iron Banner. I am running a Warlock Void. Um, my weapon loadout is Three Little Words, one of my favorite pulse rifles. And I have a Fell Winter's Lie. Great weapon. <laughs> uh, despite the hate and then uh, the Gallow Horns. So I like, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, I'll be adding some commentary as well. Time to fight, Guardians. Capture all zones. Enemy capture. You know, I really Zone miss the Zone days of Crucible. Um, Back in these days, I mean, despite the thorn, the thorn was a big problem, and you might see some of it in this match, but uh, I had a lot of fun. This is probably the most fun I've had playing Crucible. Uh, if the thorn and the last word were balanced, I think this is probably the best time era that Crucible had the most longevity, I guess you could say. It was fun. Zone a uh, there was much... Uh, you could play more matches in a day without getting frustrated. Um, there was a meta there, but it seems like this time period was the best. Also, I'd like to point out there was no skill-based matchmaking. Uh, it was solely based on connection. You go into a Crucible match, you look for a match, and it finds you a match based on connection. Uh, and that was the best. It seems like we had more problems in Crucible once skill-based matchmaking was implemented, but Bungie doesn't care either way, so it is what it is. That was beautiful. I really miss uh, Pulse Rifles. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really miss High Impact Pulse Rifles. I think they they were definitely my favorite arch type of weapon to use, and this weapon really turned me on to that. Um, I had the Super Pox uh, VLO from year or Vanilla. Uh, some of you guys might remember that, but uh, and the Farron Square, but I never really gave them as much love as this weapon. Um, the three little words I think was definitely at this time period probably the best vendor weapon that you could pick up. Uh, the vendor version that the Crucible Quartermaster had was. Uh, this pretty much the same exact thing that the messenger has. Uh, you know, good stability. We had uh, head seeker and third eye, which were great choices for PvP. Um, the one thing that I'm a little upset about is that uh, this weapon existed in this game for a, a long period of time, and uh, no one really used it. It feels like everybody just like, turned a blind eye to this weapon, um, and and it wasn't until um, the messenger came and uh, around the scene that. People started to call that weapon OP, and it's like there's been weapons in this archetype for quite some time. I really don't understand why the messenger got so much, so much hate, uh, where that archetype of weapon had been good for quite some time. Zone B secure. Heavy ammo on the way. Yet another thing that I really disliked about this meta, which I talked about before, is the thorn. And it feels like in this time era, um, I can't remember a time playing a Crucible match where my screen was not plagued uh, by the green poison from getting hit by a thorn. Uh, you know, that was probably my biggest turnoff factor in Crucible at this time period. Uh, oh wow, double kill with a Gallahorn. The OG Gallahorn before it was nerfed. Uh, good times. But uh, the thorn constantly turning your screen green was uh, the biggest the biggest downfall for Crucible, and uh, it took Bungie so long to address this. Uh, it seems like this uh, it, this Crucible was plagued by the thorn for most of most of a year, probably about half of a year before it was addressed. And uh, I never really got as to why, because I know Bungie had the data, they had the stats, but uh, they let it go on for so long. Uh, it actually wasn't even addressed until uh, they started to roll out uh, the Taken King. And uh, at that point, Crucible had been stale for so long. I know a lot of people are wanting to have that weapon buffed now, because after the range nerf they recently did, and the damage over time isn't what it used to. Uh, the weapon is kind of in an unusable category, but um, the weapon was okay, but I'm just going to say good riddance. I know this may not be popular, but 
Uh, the Thorn really had its time to shine, and it really dominated Crucible for literally half of a year. So I think it's okay where it's at right now. One of my favorite things about running a Warlock is when I see a bubble and I have a super, I will always run for it for a super. Wow. It's always so satisfying to destroy a bubble with the Nova Bomb. Um, it never really gets old. Zone C neutralized. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. Effortless Axion Bolts. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, being a Warlock, there really isn't much of a choice in PvP. It hasn't really been other than Axion Bolts. Uh, scattered Grenades are great, but if you aren't running, uh, you know, uh, nothing ma manacles? Is that what they're called? Yeah, nothing manacles, then it's no use Don't using them. Ooh. The headshot mul the he headshot damage for this arch type back in this time was brutal, especially if you had head uh, head seeker on it. I missed this time the most, where these weapons could actually compete. One, two. The time to kill on these weapons were great, and uh, you know, it's sad that pulses uh, in this category aren't like this anymore. I didn't feel like they were ever OP. They were balanced as. The firing rate was slow, uh, and there's higher risk to using these weapons compared to Heavy ammo available. weapons that were. Whoa, <laughs> he just literally ate a Nova bomb to his face. But, uh, but yet yeah, uh, the time to kill was good, and it was balanced. So, and they could actually compete uh, in this time frame against what was the meta at that time, which is the Thorn and Last Word. So. I won't lie, I've had a lot of good times playing Destiny PvP with friends, but uh, at the state that Destiny is in right now, uh, I just feel PvP is just really unbearable. Uh, you go into matches, it's literally nothing but clever dragons, matadors. Uh, I'm recording this in uh, January of 2017, so uh, maybe things will change uh, in the future, but uh, as of right now, I just... I can't play it, you know. I actually uninstalled Enemy. Destiny uh, recently to, uh, to play other games and make room, so I just can't do it. Zone B lost. This should be the end of the match right here. No, uh, you'll notice one. something here at the end of the match uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you missed it there, you'll see it here now. But uh, oh, you know, no, back in the boring. days where people I'm used to have to. Uh, play crucible matches and stuff like that to get their hands on an exotic weapon and this time around I got an icebreaker <laughs> which everybody seems to be grinding for now but um, I think it's kind of petty that Bungie's making us grind for a weapon that we got literally two years ago thanks for watching like and subscribe if you guys like what you saw and you guys have a good day